Depreciation Basics Problem 1. On January 1st, year 1, Guava Company acquired a machine for $1,010,000. The estimated useful life of the asset is 5 years. Residual value at the end of 5 years is estimated to be $65,000. Calculate the depreciation expense per year using the straight line method. Now depreciation can be very intimidating, especially if you're new to accounting, you're a new student, or even someone that's just a business person out there dealing with clients. Depreciation can be very intimidating. There's many different ways to calculate depreciation. The first thing to understand is that accounting depreciation is not the same thing as market value depreciation. But the concept, the idea is the same. Depreciation, we understand that when you purchase a building or when you purchase equipment, it's not, or even technology, like a computer, it's not going to be worth or it's not going to be economically of value the same as when you purchase it, either because of obsolescence for technology or wear and tear. We understand that. And again, this is not the same thing as market value depreciation, though. This is accounting depreciation is the concept of that obsolescence and wear and tear and how we're going to use a reasonable measure to take that into account over time, just estimate and record it. We have to record it some way, right? We purchased this, this asset many years ago, and we understand, though, again, obsolescence and wear and tear. So there's different methods. The most commonly used method for financial accounting purposes, and again, GAAP does not require a specific method. It does require you are consistent. The most commonly used is the straight line method, which happens to be the easiest, and that's the one in this problem. The formula for straight line depreciation, we're going to take cost of the item, minus the residual value, also known as the salvage value, which you can think of it like the scrap value. If you were to look at a car, for example, a car or vehicle, it's always going to have scrap value because of the metal components and whatnot that go into it. So we take the cost minus the residual value and we divide that over the useful life. Now again, remember, accounting depreciation is an estimate. So things are estimated. In this question, we're told that there's five years estimated. Now, one thing to be very clear about is what is the question asking? Is it asking to calculate a specific year? Is it asking to calculate a specific month? Um, when does when is the property put in service? This is on January 1st. Now, if you're not told otherwise, a company is a calendar year company. Now, this question says calculate the depreciation expense using straight line, but it says per year. And we start on January 1st. So this is pretty straightforward. Since we're doing a yearly approach and we have five years and we put it in place on January 1st, so we have a whole year. January 1st through 1231 is one year and we have five of those and we place it in service at the beginning of the year. We get to do the full year calculation. So the cost, Guava Company acquired a machine for $1,010,000. That is our cost. So $1,000,000. $10,000 is our cost minus the residual value. The residual value is $65,000. So at the end of depreciating it, we get $65,000. All right, we take that number. We're going to divide that over five years. We do the calculation. How much do we get per year? So per year, the depreciation is $189,000 per year. So the question asks, what is the depreciation expense per year? It's $189,000 per year. And just like that, boom, we've just made depreciation a lot simpler. Now, fortunately, it was straight line, and we were given you know, all the items very clearly, and it was placed in service at the beginning of the year, and we just asked for one year. It can get a little bit more messy. We'll see other examples where it gets messier. But you know, this is a baseline example. We can do this. We can get through depreciation. It's not that challenging understanding what it is. It helps you understand. And this calculation here, remember the formula, cost minus residual value over useful life. That's how you calculate straight line method depreciation.